Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, another Empires of the Road video. Sorry I'm doing this so much, but trust me, there'll be a lot more stuff after this. Um, anyways, anyways, um, also sorry for like the mic being, you know, like not as good since I'm usually like all the way back here, like talking quiet, but I'm not gonna talk quiet now so you can hear me. Instead of right here and then like normal voice. <coughs> if you wanna, well, if you wanna do it like more quiet like this and stuff. Cause I said just how I usually talk cause I never really talk that much. Anyways, 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 um. So today we're doing, doing the next two. Uh, the former character, well, it's not former character industry, but we win the next set, which is, um, which is leaf cutters. Anyways, a tank, this tank is not suitable for the upcoming test. It's time to rehouse the colony. It will be uh, awarded an amount of royal jelly during this, the, the switch, based on colony size. Construct, store, resources, food, and territory. Alright. So wait. Should I make more food stores? I think I should. that. Sorry, I'm just gonna do this real quick. So if that's so, I can get a lot of raw jelly. I'm just gonna actually spend as much as possible. There we go. So I'm just doing this real quick. Oops, that's one thing. Go, collect it. <coughs> so, uh, I'll probably skip. So, uh, when we do it. Alright, we're doing it. <coughs> also, uh, real quick. Let's see, if we'll carry on. Alright, ready? Let's go. The counterpart <coughs> colony has been delivered. We need to commence preparation for the final experiment. After that, we can dispose of the specimens and close the project. You should begin transplanting our eruptors into the modular formicarium, and be careful <coughs> with the queen. Yes, yes, I know how to use a trowel. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, 400, nice. There we go. Going in. Close the project. Bah! Did you hear that? Final experiment, my foot. I'm in charge of the colony, and I will decide when we've finished testing. There. All set in your new home. Grow quickly, my little ants. We have lots of work to do. All right. I, I can't build. Now, in, our, you know, in real life, you couldn't do this because eventually the colony will starve because there's not that, ma that many workers or people to collect food from. Um, hello? There we go. <coughs> so you unlocked it, but we can't do the other two. Now I can't do other, other uh, things, so. What you gonna do? Now we can look in DNA. You can have the leaf cutter stun. Stunning add a cephalotus majors. At level 3, can stun enemies massively slowed for 4 seconds after stun wears off. 
Hey, for a taunt. Tawny and add to civil is major at level 3. Oops. On low health, will gain very high resistance for 4 seconds. <laughs> it really seem too useful. But, alright. Anyways, um, let's play the harvest. Harvest. This colony is... is Colonies in close proximity create co competition for leaves and ultimately survival. We'll do medium. We'll do taunt on this one. Let's do taunt. That's an army ant. Really for ant. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the <coughs> rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. <coughs> the juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leaf cutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. Alright. Let's make that, and then let's make a worker area. There we go. Now we have refused tile. Ants walk in order to be slowed in damage. Your body non refused tiles will have been upgraded points reduced. Oh. Allows the colony to store to 10 refused, which will slowly decay a tile uh, and force us dead fungus from the nurseries. And I'm guessing this is store relief, yep. And I'm guessing we, we know it could do. In case you don't, it basically just store leaves on. Alright, we'll make that. We need a refuge area, but we also want to far away from the nest. Can I make it up here? Make it up here. Let's make it big. So a lot of refuge in there. I'll also make a second one, but we won't open that yet. Upgrade that. I think we have less upgrades in this with the leaf cutters. I don't know why. So we have these like little minor ants that bring the funguses around. They don't get damaged by it, by the way. That are born from from other ant here. I'll, sh I'll show you when we when we need it. We see these little ants go and bring it to uh to the refuge chamber. Uh also do that. <laughs> bring them to the little refuge chamber and then drop them off. It's a negative one. So that means a uh whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're on the surface. Let's go collect leaves. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. Bring back the leaves for the miners and minims. Oh, can we attack their queen? 
we might do that. In the end, we might do that. As I'm guessing that's what we had to do. I know what was gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to act. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not trying to act, you know. I'm not a really good actor. If I try to act. <laughs> get a line to my parents, so. Let's <laughs> just. The ants' activities outside the nest Anyways, have not um, gone unnoticed. They are being watched. What? Oh, uh. Uh. uh whatever you call it. Um, uh, probably want to bring them back real quick, just to have... Yeah, I'll also show you how that... how this works. Look at that. Oh, uh, collect the most, the most accessible leaves, and leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, so basically, yeah. another Atta colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. Get the joke, because, uh, this is a game called Empires of the Undergrowth. Anyways, um, comedy genius. Anyways, um, so yeah, basically the hatch, when you, uh, when you, uh, whatever you call it, when you, uh, place down, uh, ant tiles. It's really stupid, I think you should, like, have a... I mean, I guess it's fair. I let you have larvae, and then maybe there's like a larvae zone, and then the pupil zone, and the egg zone, which would just be like around the queen. <laughs> Usually, when that happens, like bring them off to a location, like something like that. Like, would they have like a realistic mode, and like you can play play that mode, and then and it can like you know. You can, you know, bring this larvae there and that there. Like, that would make it so much fun. Because, like, it's, it, you have an unlimited amount. I mean, it like, just depends how many leaves you collect. Let's say, like, every, every, like, maybe, like, we're doing this right now. We're gonna, we're getting this guy right now. We're hatching these. Maybe, like, over time, we, uh, we gotta start to develop these ants. They don't, they cause something, because of the leaves and stuff. But, like, you know. Like, that, something like that would probably bring the game rise in popularity. That's just crazy. Like, for the game to be that, I mean, of course they have to do, it would be hours and hours, since it's, if you're doing it for the whole game, which I don't think they should do, I think we should want, want to keep it. This, because it will take literally. You, you might as well make an entire new game at that point. If you wanted to do that. Like, make it like an extra level or something. We have the realistic mode. To be fair, they also have like a realistic mode uh, here in settings to like act like. Or, like, like I keep it as a mystery, but I don't really like that. No. Alright. No more that on. Also, uh, let's open this. Oops. Alright. So we have, uh, also we have Leaf cutter and media ants. Up to 20 fungus can be generated in the hell of the floor. Sorry. Yes, I... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this tile one, the leaves are brought into. And the majors, I'm guessing, are the same. Up to 20 fungus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to brought the tile. Okay. That doesn't help me. <laughs> So basically, it just has more health and more attack than the miners or coal miner. As the sun there. sets below the horizon and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. I want to also make a uh, whatever you call it. Also, want to extend this refuge, but it costs five every time. So wait for some leaves come back.
That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically the entire. So yeah, that's how the poison thing works. They step in the refuge, and uh, they get poisoned. Pretty much gone. We'll start going over here. There's just no da danger in us yet. All right, I'm waiting for 40. Yeah, because also, like, imagine just having seven, had to work around the clock, get the leaves, put the refuge in. And that's why they made it like that. I'm pretty sure that's also how it works in IRL. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it does. And some ant, some other ant rooms like they yell at me that no, it does work that way. But you know, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. All right, <laughs> I'm more VS than a no. I never personally seen leaf fluttering ants in real life. I've only seen. I know there's leaf cutters in my area, but. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, like, at, like, beaches and stuff, which is, I think it's also invasive, so, not gonna, not gonna condone keeping that, or promoting that in any way, because it is bad for the environment, because especially if it gets out, or you release it, it could easily wipe out the, wipe out natives. Uh, I think they're also growing. Like it, like, you know, let's, okay, I'm guessing it costs 80, yeah. <laughs> Just thinking, but then it'll be a refuge, and then if we could upgrade it, or if you want us to upgrade it, it won't work. No, I didn't, okay, whatever. Get close. <laughs> right. uh, there's more food up here. Oh, so game's starting to drop. I'm we'll dropping like two frames, shouldn't be the worst. I wish the ants could heal. Like, um... Like, when... I mean, I guess that makes sense that they can't... Uh, heal. Because an IRL, if one ant gets hurt... It's either dead or, uh... Or, um... Or whatever you call it. I think both ants got nothing out of that. <laughs> yes, they did. We're about to outbeat them already. Like, we're barely in.
I'm gonna go up here, or actually, I think we better if we go over there. I can like go over. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. To be fair, we're further. I think they have more food stock than we do, or better food stock. I think we have to build it out here. Actually, no. We'll extend this since it's actually kind of getting kind of big, and then we'll have these guys over here. Let's make it our first major. <laughs> All right, let's see it. It's huge. Who could have guessed? This <laughs> is. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of oh, the night really. scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. I don't know how long I've been there for, just waiting there to get food. Oh, they've already killed it? Alright. No, 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 no. Alright, actually, wait. Did they nerf it? I swear to god, they, they used to have like 8,000, not 8,000, like 6, like, like 6, 1,600. I keep forgetting. There goes our major. Now, uh, was that really the only thing that was nearby that, that posed a threat? Wow, what a joke. <coughs> nope, okay. <coughs> Don't! Well, now I might as well do it. No. <laughs> Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> Perfect. We go on. Alright, this one, they're actually going the same area now. She might be good. If we go the long way and get more, or should we go the short way? But I think it's easier if we go this way. So at least if we got, like somehow die out, um, we'll be able to get over here and then get some food.
A brightly patterned jumping spider, so now say Casveri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. <laughs> this expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, what, allowing it to pounce it? on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. Are, are, are you sure about that? It's already dead. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go. <clears throat> Leaf cutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. Okay, whatever. No, my ones are moving faster than the other. Alright, we're still losing a lead mounds. Probably because they're so much closer. If we go up there. Let's go. We're turning it. At least we got tanks. The ants must defend themselves. <coughs> Alright. Well, it's a lot. It doesn't get 20. Or it doesn't get 20. <laughs> Anyways. Let's keep it going. Why? I don't know why there's only okay, whatever. <coughs> Alright, I think that's actually making more leaves. I think we have to kind of do some stuff over here to kill them. Actually, if I think about it, if I just, like, camp by their nest, can I kind of just kill them all? The ants must fight. Because they, they're not going to bring up any workers, because I know AI is programmed to, for some workers not to go up. <laughs> so that might work in the process. Or in a way. Unfortunately, every ant's gonna get poisoned here, but. Oh well. pushing forward towards them. Oh god, Prey Mantis. Uh, they don't show up on the map because they're, cause they're so sneaky. Yeah, they're not sneaky at all. We're catching up, though. We're, we're catching up. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf-mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long, razor-clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. Both of them are just one. Actually, just one. 
Do I take their food supplies that are closer to them? We should be out beating the them. The battle soon. has begun. <coughs> All right. I think soon we're gonna have to go do some uh, do some stuff. I'm gonna collect food and then we're gonna storm. Once I actually, when I finish these, um, I think that's, uh, we got like two more of those. Once that, I think I'm gonna pillage them. Or raid them, I should say. Cause we're just chilling! You're about to outbeat them. Night falls, <coughs> and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end. <coughs> oh, of course, because there's one. Get that. And then we'll get two of the- oh, we'll get two more of those. And we should be able to read them. Oh! It might be better if we go over here, since it isn't as long. Closer. <coughs> I think I have to extend the thing real quick. <coughs> Alright. An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long, slender legs keep its vulnerable right. body elevated Leave high a... above the leaf litter. <coughs> and when threatened, it can release strong smelling odors to deter other right. predators. Stay a stern response will be needed to drive this striding <coughs> nuisance away. Now get that. Get that. And stop after that. <coughs> Overwhelmed by the defensive leafcutter forces, the harvestman decides to make a swift exit. Oh no. A Paracanthus varius bush cricket has spotted the ants. Its thorax and appendages are adorned with sharp protruding spikes, offering 360 degrees of protection and turning its substantial forelegs into a pair of deadly flails. This spiny devil will not easily be deterred. <coughs> Got a decent amount of food. Dinner workers and ants back. Let's go. <coughs> no. No. Holy crap. Alright, anyways. Let's go. <coughs> Hey. 
Yeah, of course, all right, that was. If you kind of just hang, like don't, but just chill over here. And of course, and what is over here now? <coughs> oh, and of course they have the summoning hands, just to, just to throw it in my face. I'm gonna come back out. <coughs> or I just go back in. Hello, we're coming back in. <coughs> the battle has begun. Once again, worthless. <laughs> How many? <coughs> All right. Um. <coughs> so long as we keep doing this, actually. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae oh, must be protected. <clears throat> Go back under, keep this up. <coughs> oh wait, I think we're killing them. <coughs> Could we storm the nest? running out of food so what if we just kind of after we kill this since they have nothing left and they really can't go back out on the surface we'll collect this food I don't think even can pick it up once they drop it at least on the ground <coughs> or you know uh If he stops sending stuff, we'll stop attacking in like two seconds. Alright, uh... As the sun rises over the treetops above, the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace <coughs> their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. Just get out, just get out. Exterminated. <coughs> 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 
Alright. Now, do we have a competition? Once we uh, get more food, we'll, st we'll storm back down and kill the queen. We'll get this fully stored, and after that, it's pretty much GG. Because <laughs> they're pretty much unstoppable. They only got, like, I mean, they, they definitely got majors, but they don't got too many ants. Plus, <coughs> even though, and since we, like, killed them, pretty much, I can't make any, any leaves. The ants will fight to the death. <coughs> and attack at two different points. Oh, no. Attack! Holy crap. Wait here. Of course, and as soon, as soon as we enter the nest. The ants must defend themselves. <coughs> I swear to God. This <laughs> is... Kill them. I mean, the colony said. It's gonna lose its majors, and after that, it's pretty much it. Yeah, it's Unfortunately, they spawn over here. Yeah, and they just keep spawning. <coughs> Alright. No, hang back, hang back. <coughs> I'm a dish changer and like all those chambers max. Distract, go distract. The battle has begun. <coughs> mm. Working there are some level threes, level three majors from the uh, spawn stuff. <coughs>
The ants must <coughs> defend themselves. We're about to defeat it. <coughs> The ants have subdued their rivals and achieved dominion over the clearing. As the competition withers, they will extend their territory in all directions, firmly establishing their agricultural empire. One day this colony will number in the millions. <laughs> yeah, he's got 40 eggs. <laughs> and let's check extra raw jelly. Alright. And... Oh yeah, we have to, uh, we have to, uh, get the screenshots or the, or should we do, uh, F9? guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh see you guys next time goodbye